بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و السلات اللہ و السلام اللہ و رسول اللہ السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ I'm going to talk about the Islamic calendar and what it is about. The Islamic calendar is based on changes in the moon and starts with the sighting of a new moon. It is therefore called a lunar calendar. There are 12 months in the Islamic calendar and each month has either 29 or 30 days. The Islamic calendar first began when the Prophet Muhammad made Hijrah. This is when he moved from Mecca to Medina. The story behind the Islamic calendar. Before the in invention of the Islamic calendar, our Arabs used to keep memorable dates in uh, reference to big events. The, for example, the, the year in which the incident of the elephant took place was referred to as the year of the elephant. Approximately 17 years after the Muslims left Mecca for Medina, Abu Musa al-Ash'ri, a companion of the Prophet ﷺ, complained that the Muslims did not have their own calendar. When Umar ibn Khattab heard about this complaint, he decided to introduce a calendar for the Muslims. He also, he, he also decided that the calendar would start from the Hijra migration of the Prophet ﷺ. Thus, the Islamic calendar began with the month of Muharram in the year of the Prophet ﷺ arrived at the city of Medina. Names of the 12 months. The 12 months of the Islamic year are Muharram Safa, Rabi al Rabi al-Fani, Jamad al-Ula, Jamad al-Akri, Jamad al-Akra, Rajab, Shaban, Ramadan, Shawwal, Dul Qada, Dul Hijjah. Important dates. Important dates in the Islamic Kanda. First of Muharram, Islamic New Year. Rabi al Awa, it was in this month that the Prophet ﷺ was born. Twelfth Rabi al Awa is com commonly regarded as the date of the Prophet ﷺ was born he also passed away in this month last days last 10 days of ramadan this includes the night of power a, a night that is better than a thousand months which is com com commonly understood to be one of the odd nights in the last 10 nights أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والآديات ضبها فالموريات قدها فالمغيرات سبها فأفغن به نقعا فوسدن به جمعا إن الإنسان لربه لكنود وإنه على ذلك لشهير وإنه, وإنه لهب الخير لشرير أفلا يعلم إذا بؤثر ما في القبور وهسر ما في الصدور إن ربهم بهم يوم إذ الخبير سورة آدية I swear by the runners breathing pantingly then those that produce fire striking then those that make raids and at morn then thereby raise dust the ru then rush thereby upon an assembly most surely man is ungrateful to his lord and most most surely he is a witness of that and most surely he is tenacious in the love of wealth does he not then know when what is in the graves is raised and what is in their breasts is made apparent most surely their lord that day shall be fully aware of them today i'm going to tell you about prophet of peace i'll tell you a story of a prophet of peace who lost his dear mother when he was a little child.
He was known to be honest and and nicknamed Amin. He cared for his people and never was mean. He prayed in the mountains alone in the cave and until one Ramadan when the angel Jibreel came. He, he ran to Khadija and straight to his bed. His body was shaking, there was sweat on his head. It was the first it was the first wahi that our prophet received that that the beginning the beginning of the Quran and part to Tawheed. When he started his message the Meccans didn't believe, they tortured his people and forced them to leave. He went to Medina along with Sadiq. The Ansars of, of Yathirib were so very pleased. He received Allah's message till he was 60 and three, and three there are 114 surahs in Quran al-Hakim. He taught us the kalima that says there one there's one God Muhammad there's one there's one God Muhammad is the messenger and the slave of our Lord. If you love Allah, don't ever do kuffar. Hold on to your iman and always be good. So he practiced his sunnah and read the Quran. I told you the story of the Prophet of Peace Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even if you are 90, you still will be mine. So pray for my mawul fira and for him to be kind. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illa Allah, wallahu akbar, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah al-aliyyil azim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad, wa lam yakul Allahu kufuwan ahad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad. فلم يكن الله كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله السمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد Oh Allah help me to remember you to be grateful to you and to worship you in an excellent manner Amen You should bring blessings to our Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم because the Prophet said, He who sends blessings on me once, Allah sends him blessings ten times. I've been ungrateful for much my life. I was unfaithful. For all this time, I feel ashamed, Lord, for the things I've done since I've been falling all this time. Cause I haven't had peace in so long, and I couldn't seem to go on, but now I can feel it through you. And I will never, and ever forsake anything, and don't forget.
straight, Lord Left from your side When chasing this world Didn't guard my eyes I've been afraid for The things I've done So now I'm calling you this time Cause oh Allah On this journey I come running to you Oh please put my heart at ease Oh Allah bring me to you Cause I've been falling For all my life I've been waiting for you now Cause I haven't had If you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe share and watch and look out for our um part three uh, of ramadan video so assalamu alaikum